Yeah, in, in a way. I think they're a work of art. And uh, the history of them is kind of unique. If, um, if we was really know what they was really, the first ones were never meant to pump water. They was electric, your rural electrification company. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, do you know anything about the motor on top of that or the generator or is it, was it designed just to pump water? It was, it was designed to pump water. Some of them that look like that. You gave a hundred yeah. <laughs> with the tower, or you just well, you... it was. Uh, I had to take down two to get one. This this tower is some other brand. Okay. And I took down another one that uh, that was had this dipster uh, on it, and uh, and it fit down in that. You know, it fit on there. Yeah, it looked like it was made to be there. Yeah. And I and I brought home, I put the uh, hinges on the bottom up there so you can lean it over. I never have done it since I, but that's the way I put it up. Mm-hmm, with hinges. That's real smart. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I bolted on this end. I had a tractor tied up. I had it laying on a big bale out there. And pulled it up, you know, with a with a big tractor, and I was on the other end to hold it because, you know, when it got over over the balance spot, so it would hit you. Know. And uh, and then I had a guy that had a portable welder come out here and weld those uh, things on the bottom, you know. Oh, I bet that'd been a sight to see you coming up for the first time. <laughs> Hard to see. And I put a, that floor up there in brown. That a lot of them are square. This is a little bit unusual, I think, for having a round one. A round one. Yeah. Yep. But I hauled that thing back from Kensington, Kansas. Took it home. Releases the brake. Yeah. I had a. Uh, it's got a brake on it. And, uh, I took it off. It's got a little light in the brake shoe. I took it off and took a Springfield brake and they sent it up to Kansas City and they put a new shoe on it. It's the lube to keep it lube when it turns. Yeah, it's got good. gears and all kinds of things. Yeah. So in other words, you don't have the brake on it right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's on. Well, what would you say you need to get up there to do? See, it turns a little bit. I seen it turn then, uh, and it's twisting. But that's definitely the way the wind's blowing right now. Yeah. That's, that's, if you get that tail pulled around there, it, it might turn just a little bit. It's got a spring on that brake, and I hit it. I had a guy come out here and tighten that tighten. It's got adjustment on you tighten it a little more. Mm -hmm. But that brake wears a little bit, I guess. So. It needs to be painted again. Well, this shore is beautiful. How tall is it? Do you? 30 feet. 30 feet. That's what I was thinking. 30 feet tall. Well, I've noticed several, and you're like the second person I've actually caught in the yard where I could come and talk to. All right. And it's the other fella, he didn't know anything about it. He didn't know if it was froze up, wouldn't froze up. He's not too far down the road from you. But I, all together, I think there's about five if you look around this area. You know, you ten. You one over here on County Line Road. You seen that? Mm hmm. I, I'm, well, within five miles. Oh, yeah. I'm saying within five miles yeah, that way, it, that way. It's, uh, well, the way the crow flies, it's probably not over a mile and a half, two miles. Mm -hmm. I'll be looking for it to make sure I have seen it. Yours, I'll be honest, is one of the prettier ones. Well, when 
it when I first got it up there, and it was all shiny and everything. It was, it did look good. I've always been fascinated with windmills, and I wanted one, and I, so I, I got that when this job to get up. Well, yeah, anything that's worth doing is going to take work because yeah. it's a piece of art, and a lot of people are just scrapping them. They, they, it's too much for them to keep up, and yeah. they don't keep them up. So, if it did come unlocked, it'd sling the blades off, like you said. Yeah. It, it'd shear itself in two with the wind. Yeah, that shaft, you know, it's. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sure it probably had a seal around that shaft. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's all in and out, but it's all in at once. But, but I haven't let it, you know, I haven't let it turn very much. I just, no, ain't no need in it, really. It's, it's beautiful. It's a piece of art. Well, thank you for showing it to me and telling me a little bit about it. What'd you say your name was? Ron Lawson. Ron Lawson. Yeah. And the name of this road right here is? 219. 219. It's sandwiched in between 182 and... Uh, 186 and 194. Yeah, County Line Road. Yeah. yeah. You see a lot of bike riders? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a good group of people ride out here. It's real safe and... Yeah, they, most of the time, they ride down 186. Mm-hmm. Uh, park up there at the church. A lot of them do, and they'll ride all the way through and cross 125 and go clear around up into Rogersville where the, where I stop the at convenience the, store. Yeah, I stop at Hardy's at the at the store, and I go back to Arkansas, and that's uh, that's 15 there and 15 back. And then after I, when the summer comes, I get a little more into it. I lap these big root, this big lap right here. I lap it two, three times. That puts me out to 90 miles. Oh really? Yeah, I'm gonna break a, I'm gonna break a couple of hundreds this year. Huh? You live in Arkansas? Uh, uh Ozark. Ozark. That's what I meant to say, Ozark. Ozark. Yeah. Okay. Well, it sure. I see you, you pruning you your ride trees. You fishing then? No, I did back in the 90s, yeah. but um, no, I, I'm just keeping in shape and uh, doing it. You know, when you got a hurt back and knee and biking is really good and is swimming. It? But yeah, I can't ride as fast as these young guys. They be going really fast. Line, life is like a box of chocolates, but yet it's as though our reality got flipped upside down. But you know, praise be to God, he allowed me to be able to find this evidence, this proof, and provide it to the world to see. So please, share this video, make your own videos, and let's get the word out about the truth behind the Mandela Effect.
Yeah, that's all, folks.